What's up everybody, it's Showtime and it's the Blazer King, and I decided to do something just a bit casual for today because my normal Wednesday plans are kind of, what's the word, on hold, I guess we could say? Not for as long as, say, Mario, uh, which I promise I will get back to that eventually, but for now we're here with Will You Press the Button and, well, let, let's get started. Would you press the button if you would be rich and be able to order anything you could realistically to your home, but you can never leave your home? I mean, I don't really leave my home much as it is unless I'm going out to eat or going to the store or something, and if I could just, like, have people run to the store for me or something, then fuck it. It gives me more time to, like, do this stuff and stuff. So, yeah, we'll press it. And more than half of the people agreed with me. That was, that was an okay one. You master every instrument in the world, but you can no longer walk. Mmm. Mmm. So you're a, an amazing musician, but you're also a paraplegic. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Ah, now, you see, I don't... Like I said in the previous one, I don't really do much anyway, and I know that makes me sound lazy and very homebound, etc., but I don't do much, and honestly, when I have to walk for extended periods of time, it, it, I, it is a pain in the ass, and I get tempted to be lazy like those assholes that steal the fucking handicap carts in the supermarket, but I'm never that lazy, though if I was a paraplegic, that would give me reason to use those. <sighs> Plus five. Hmm. Yeah, I've never really been one for wanting to actually play an instrument, though. I've been one wanting to more improve my singing voice, and I don't really think vocals counts as an instrument for this, so, you know what, we're not gonna do it. It, it, it was, it was, yeah, that was good. Get your own island and five million dollars is funding money, but China may nuke you in five years. I mean, I, I've seen this one come up on other people's and I, it has a very good point of you could by that point just install fucking uh, safe area for nuclear warheads and such. So, but yeah, I'll, I'll press it. And all the world problems, famine, torture, poverty, disease, etc. But you alone suffer all of them. Ugh. Ugh. Now this is more a matter of... Are you caring enough to be the one to save the all? Or not? And... Uh I'm sorry, I'm a nice person, but this this is too much to put on one head. Ugh. You're irresistibly attractive, but you're always heavily intoxicated and you never get used to. Uh um Mm. I mean, I just realized why am I not recording this with the, why am I not recording this with the face cam? Like this would be a good first time to use the face cam. You know we'll do that for episode two just so I don't have to 
try and fucking sink and shit and we'll do it next episode but as for this I, I think I will press the button I like the comments down here, especially that say 46 years ago they commented. Like, how the fuck? You can create anything out of thin air, but it'll disappear after two hours and you will have no memory of interacting with it. Hmm. Hmm. So, you basically could get laid with anybody you want, real or fake, but you won't have any fucking clue after they're gone. But, this is what video cameras are for. You can breathe underwater, but only with your eyes closed. Mm. Eh? So, it's either you know where you're going, but it's difficult to breathe, or you have no fucking clue where you're, where you're going, but you at least feel like you're on land. Mm. I, I don't like swimming in the first place, so... <sighs> you get paid a decent salary to play Grand Theft Auto V, but you... Nope. <laughs> I like how it's an even split 50-50. That, that's great. You have the fastest internet speed in the world, but the only technology you can own is a... that is actually even with all that modding in the world you can only just get so much memory and stuff haul items download for free and instantly but your computer hmm right this one yeah no be able to pass all your all you subjects at school with no effort, you but you always have lunchtime detention. I mean, I'm not in school anymore, so... And apparently neither was the person that wrote this. Uh, is there a button to just skip to the next one? Because the, that was... Yeah, this, this one kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm just going to hit no since I'm not in school anymore. The grammar sucks, so obviously neither was the person that wrote it. You get a million dollars a year for the rest of your life, but you have to move every year, and it can never be the same country. You know what? Fuck it, yeah. You get to be a world traveler, you know, start where you would actually like to be, in my case, Japan, and then move to somewhere where you don't mind being, and then, and it says country at least, so you have so many more places to work with. Like, I can move from North America, just up to Canada, and then go over to Japan, and like Britain, Mexico, etc. It'd be, a, it'd actually be pretty cool to just travel. You cannot die, and you control every physical aspect of your appearance. Oh god, this hobby good. But you cannot talk, write, or sign. You can read, but you cannot communicate your thoughts in any way. Aficia. What? Aficia? What the fuck? Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm. Give me a minute and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up what that particularly means. Because I, I have no clue. So. Okay, Google. What does F. Afshia mean? Probably could have assumed that. Um, uh, I'm gonna say no just because it makes most of it kind of a moot point, actually. Oh, we're on time. We're at 10 minutes. I can do a few more. You'll be successful in anything you dream of, but you can never lie again, even if it hurts someone you to say the truth. I mean, I rarely lie as it is. I may have lied to you guys about like upload schedules or something a few times before, but I that's kind of what happens when you're a content creator. Sometimes you're honest, sometimes you lie. It's no person. 78% of, 76% of people agree with me. Valve re reveals Half-Life 3, but you have to watch someone play the entire game before you can. I've never played either other Half-Life game, so I, I... It doesn't really matter which one I do, so sure, I'll click it, just to make other people happy. You can remote control any machine using your cell phone, but it only has 20 minutes of battery life. I mean, 20 minutes is a lot of time depending on what you're trying to do. So, sure. You can live a happy, fulfilled life happy, fulfilled, and comfortable life, but in exchange for half of your remaining life. <clears throat> Alright, now... Hmm. This would actually be something I would enjoy, because to be completely honest, I... Personally, I'm not very uh, happy and not as fulfilled as I would love to be. Comfortable? Eh, maybe once in a while, but the other two, not really. And nobody is guaranteed how long they're going to live. Like the average age for somebody to pass away due to natural causes is probably like 60 through 80 somewhere in that area if you live longer than 80 a good for you but I personally really wouldn't enjoy to be that old just to suffer with all of the fucking surgeries and shit you'd have to have put in you as you grew older and things started deteriorating within your body. Sure. Only 43% of people agreed with me. Find vast and sound proof that something is true, but afterwards you will live the life of someone fanatically opposed to that idea. So I know it's true, but I don't want to admit it. Is that what that's supposed to be? 
You know, I think I'm gonna end off with this one and have you guys go ahead and say your opinions on it because I I'm actually kind of stuck on this one so yeah share you guys opinions on this one let me know in the comment section down below if you like this don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to see more I probably will do like more of this or something similar and like the Facebook follow the Twitter and uh until next time, it's been the Blazer King signing out. Ta-ta for now.